Hello ho there, neighborino. Now let's get into the reason why you probably clicked on this video. The PlayStation 5 price point. Okay, so found a new article that, that essentially states that the PlayStation 5 may be $399 as opposed to the $499, which was previously speculated. This is coming out of well, it, it's coming out of a market research firm that specializes in Japanese manufacturing. What what they are already stating is that the specifications in, may include the AMD Ryzen consideration. It could cover cover 8K video raging that works with the AMD Navi 20 GPU. Because of because of that simple cost right there, sitting around $200 for the CPU itself, he suggests that the price for the system is going to be sitting at around $399. And that Sony would, would use their own games and hardware in order to showcase the power of the, the amazing CPU. However, problem is because this because this tawdry list of effects and power that the PS5 is already proclaimed to have a 399 price point does not really seem reasonable that said pushing it well it, it's going to be a powerful system that is backwards compatible it's got a solid state drive, it's got 8K video, and it's it's got 12 teraflops of graphical processing power. So five hundred dollars seems reasonable to me. But that, that's just me. As far as that's concerned, I'm a nobody. But you know, it, 550 maybe pushing it 600 not really gonna happen but I can live with a $500 price point $400 yeah I'm gonna buy that thing in like a second but five yeah I, I can save up $500 between now and March so I really hope that you can too that's like a hundred dollars a month between now and then The next piece of news is all about <clears throat> a couple big VR headsets that are going to be released here in the next few months. First one is is all about the Oculus Quest. Next up we got the Rift S, also by Oculus, the HP Reverb, and the Valve Index. All of those set to release here in the next few months, like I said. But it all comes down to a few basic questions. like. One, first and foremost, do you have a computer that you're that you believe is capable of supporting virtual reality? If you do, great. You can boil it down to the reverb, the Rift S, or the Valve Index. The the Quest is purely standalone, does not require any external hardware. Sitting at $400, purely made for gaming. And it's capable of supporting games on a lower graphical standpoint, but still, it's still able to give you that immersiveness that most other headsets are able to still give you. But that said, it, but as I previously stated, it, it does not require that that PC that's capable of supporting VR. That is the only caveat here. Does not require the PC. And it's $400. And I'll go over the other prices for the others here in a second. So, the ones that do require a PC though are, like I said, the, Rift, the Oculus Rift S, the Hewlett Packard Reverb, and the Valve Index. 
The next biggest question you have to worry about is where do you want to get your games? If your answer is the Steam Store, then the Rift S just gets knocked out of the water. Assuming that you don't have that plugin necessary. Steam, so the Steam Store supports quite a few Oculus systems. However, Oculus also has its own third party store. So that in turn may end up manipulating your choice as there are likely, personally I haven't gotten the chance to see, so take, take what I'm about to say with a grain of salt. But it's likely that the Oculus Store has more variety in it for the Oculus systems than does the Steam Store. But of course, Steam's bigger and maybe because it caters to a larger market, it may still allow all those games. So, yeah. And the Rift S is, is geared more towards the gamer market, just like the Quest is. And also, like the Quest, it's sitting at $400 with a spring 2019 release date. So if you're prepping up to get a, a new headset, this just might be it for you. Maybe. The next two are the HP Reverb and the, the Valve Index. The Reverb is the only headset on this list that supports the Windows Mixed Reality Store as well as Windows Mixed Reality in general, which is in itself a very, it, it's more of a niche market at this point. However, it does, well, long story short, how shall I put this? Well, I could just not. Um, well, the, the biggest thing to keep in mind with all these anyway, is that all four of these headsets use onboard tracking. So there are no external sensors and everything's built into the headset. So all of your movements and tracking and what you're seeing is going to be directly interacted with. Do you know what I mean? As opposed to, well, but the best example I could give is the PlayStation VR, which of course requires the external camera. And that of course is going to manipulate the tracking and the accuracy that's, that's involved. This one, the HP Reverb, however, as opposed to the Rift S and the Quest, the Reverb is sitting at $600 for a consumer edition and $650 for a professional and enterprise edition. I say professional edition because HP is gearing this more as a combination of, well, as you could probably guess, professional use and consumer slash gaming use. So do keep an eye out for that. Finally, we have the Valve Index. There isn't a whole lot known about this thing as Valve has not released any, any pertinent stats about it. And any, any of those stats will likely not be coming out until pre-order start on the 1st of May. So I can't really give you anything about, can't really give you anything about price, capability, or, well, it, I can't even give you a release date to be completely honest with you. 
So, as far as that goes, I, there's not re really a whole lot I can tell you. However, li like I said, it all boils down to a few basic questions. Can, do you want it to? Do you want it to require a PC that supports VR? If if you don't want if you don't want to get that PC, then the quest is for you. If you want to get stuff on the Steam store, then you could get either the the Rift, the Quest, or the Reverb. Well, or probably even the Index, but you know, you're going to have to wait until like June or July to be able to get that thing. It's got some release dates set for June, but the actual date is not yet known. So, as far as if graphical resolution is what what you're looking for, then the reverb is for you. If if you want to if you want to balance your uh, if, if you want to balance your experience and the value, then the Rift S is for you. So, it all comes down to what you want to do.